Hey, Bill here, K2WH, and uh, along with my other videos on the um, ICOM line of uh, bookshelf rigs, uh, I'm making this one today for the uh, ICOM 215 and how to tune up the receive section on, on uh, the little rigs. And uh, it's uh, hard to do it by ear. You have to have a receive signal. You got to listen, uh, you know, is it clear? Does it sound all right? You know, and that, that'll get you in a ballpark. But the real way to do it is with a frequency counter. And uh, that's where we're gonna, what we're gonna do uh, today. I'm gonna show you how to, uh, how to connect the counter, where to connect the counter, and what the frequencies should be um, according to the manual. And they, they do work out. The math, the math is pretty simple. So let's get to it and let's uh, tune up one of these ICOM 215s. Okay, okay here we are again. Um, this time we're going to, this video is going to demonstrate how to uh, adjust the uh, receiver on the ICOM uh, IC215 FM rig, <coughs> 12 channel FM, FM rig, actually uh, 12, 15 channel uh, when you max out the crystals. Uh, my previous video uh, demonstrated the tuning up of the transmit crystals and the frequency uh, the receive crystals are a little different in that uh, uh, you you uh, connect to a different point on the circuit board and that that point happens to be J8 which is a shield, small shielded cable on the main circuit board um, you need a uh, frequency counter of course you need a power supply frequency counter and you need the rig and uh, position J8 is uh, just uh, oh almost in the center of the uh, main main board. And to do this, not only do you need the frequency counter, but you also need a nice tuning tool. This is a G GC 8276 GC uh, tuning tuning uh, rod. And um, the uh, the whole thing is you connect the J8, you read it, read the frequency out on the frequency counter. And uh, for instance, if you were receiving 146.7, uh, all your readings on a frequency counter would be minus 10.7 megahertz. So, if you had a, um, a, a repeater on 146.700 minus 10.7, the frequency counter would read 136 megahertz. <clears throat> Sounds a little counterintuitive, but that's how it works. Uh, J8. Um, is located on the main circuit board and if I can uh, point to it here it actually is right there J8 and you can clip your your frequency counter right there the hot lead and I put the ground lead on the chassis over here although it's really not necessary so uh, let me let me connect the J8 and uh, we'll go through uh, the uh, the math and uh, exactly how it works. I'll go through my channel selection. I'll get right back to you. Okay, I've uh, <clears throat> turned on the, uh, or rather, I connected the uh, frequency counter to J8 and the other lead uh, to the chassis ground. Any convenient metal, although it's not really necessary. And I have yet to turn on the radio. I'm going to turn the rig on and watch the uh, watch what happens to the counter. I just turned it on and I'm reading 134.49 now if you take 134 it works the other way too you take 134 point um, it's actually 0 .49, 0 0.49 plus 10.7 you come up with 145.19 which happens to be my channel 1 repeater so the math works out perfectly <clears throat> and uh, just remember that uh, as you do this, you're always adding or subtracting 10.7. Basically, you'd be adding more than subtracting. But that's what the that's what the frequency readout says. Now, if I go to my channel two, it says 135.925. So, 135.925 plus 10.7 equals <clears throat> oh, I got that wrong hold on uh, it's the light glare here 135.925 right plus 10.7 equals 
146.625 which if you look here that's my second frequency 146.625 and as I go through each one you see my next one is 146.7 um, I just went to channel 3 and what does it say now 136 which happens to be my 146 700 and it should be 136 which which it is go to my fourth channel I sh my frequency counter should read 136.090 which it does and so forth and so on my fifth channel should be 136.18 close enough and, and and that's basically how it's done it's it's real simple the trim caps uh, you can see are just under the receive crystals over here you look in your book it'll show you which one is for which crystal and uh, you can get uh, everything right on the money go to channel 6 and channel 6 136.225 136.225 so there you go that's basically how you uh, align or zero um, your uh, receiver uh, trim caps and AICOM 215. Hope this helps anybody who happens to have one.